Insight learning refers to the sudden solution of a problem after a period of mental manipulation. Kohler did a number of experiments with chimps, most famously Sultan with a stick experiment, in which food was placed just outside of reach of a cage in which Sultan was in, and Sultan had a variety of tools that he could use to obtain the bananas, including sticks in a box. Sultan spent a period of time data gathering, trying different strategies to get the bananas. All right. After a while, he gave up, sulked. And then, during this sulking moment, when all had seemed lost, he suddenly seemed to have an aha moment in which he figured out the problem. He got a fat stick and a thin stick, put the two together, one fit in the other perfectly, and then he literally pulled the bananas in using his extended telescope-like apparatus of the two bamboo sticks. And Sultan seemed to use the insight gained from this experience to solve similar problems. There are four stages of insight learning. So I thought I'd go through a scenario to show you how you apply your understanding of the four stages to a given scenario. So in this scenario, Amelia is trying to work out how to get free songs from YouTube onto her iPhone. She spends a while trying different strategies unsuccessfully, cracks it, goes for a walk, halfway through the walk, suddenly realises what she needs to do. She goes home, tests her theory out, and sure enough, it works. So stage one is preparation, where Amelia can't solve the problem initially. This is a data gathering process because all she's actually learning, in a way, from the errors she's making using the resources she has, i.e. various free programs, etc., that are available on the web. Stage two is incubation. So Amelia puts the problem on hold. This is when she actually cracks it and goes for the walk. Even though she's not working on the problem consciously, the problem is being worked on by her mind un unconsciously during this walk. Stage three is the aha moment, insight, where suddenly she's realised or well, she's bridged the gap between elements of the problem and the solution. She now has a mental representation of the solution, which has occurred roughly in this scenario halfway on the walk. And then stage four, verification. She can check her solution and generally it's correct. So for additional emphasis, let's go through the four stages. Stage one, preparation data gathering process, the learner initially feels helpless, can't figure it out, but during this process is gathering information about what works and what doesn't work. Stage two, the incubation stage, problem put on hold consciously, but continues to be worked on on an unconscious level. Stage three, the aha moment, where the learner has mentally bridged the gap between elements of the problem and the solution. Stage four, verification. The solution has been arrived at mentally, so now it's time to test it out physically. And we can apply this learning to future problem solving. Some key points of insight learning. Well, the aha moment tends to occur suddenly during insight. In terms of verification, the solution is generally right first time. We tend not to forget the solution. And the learning gained from the insightful experience can be applied to similar problems. That is, we can actually use the insight gained from the data gathering process, the mental manipulation, etc., to help us with future problems. Thus, insight learning is a far more cognitive process than either classical conditioning or operant conditioning. That is, it's not simply a manner of establishing a relationship 
between a stimulus and a response through trial and error. We basically learn through the data gathering process. It helps us get closer to the final solution and thus we develop accumulated problem-solving strategies that we can use in the future. Insight.